Uh, this is the end of day two of my prayer and fasting. Uh, just juices and water. I Maybe mean, like a little small glass of juice a day. But the reason why I'm fasting now is uh, uh, in the past six months, I've been under a physical attack in my body and, and in my family life. Uh, it really kind of started happening after I kind of just let myself go food-wise. I just started eating, overdoing it on the food. <laughs> Anyways, a mistake. I believe that since God has already called me to ministry and I'm and doing His will, that I'm a target for the enemy, and and if I let my guard down, he'll try. To, he'll take me out, and I did that. So he's been trying to take out my family and my health. Me, I was in. The, I went to the hospital, and uh, felt like I was gonna die. To the truth, I had some panic attacks. I know it had to be demonic though. And even right now, you know, still kind of dealing with some issues like bronchitis, whatever. But it's going away now. Uh, past week, two weeks, I've been fasting. I eat one meal a day, and then the next week I would eat. Then I wouldn't eat at all for five days, and now I'm fasting again this week because the attack on my family part is that my wife, I guess she had a breakdown in delivering our third child. She had a classical cesarean. Uh, She's doped up with a lot of drugs. She lost a lot of blood. She had a, uh, two blood and transfusions. And, uh, and uh, anyways, the doctors are the. She was not responding properly because of all that stuff in her system, and they deemed it upon themselves to take the child. When I was not there, mind you, when I showed up, I was not prepared. Because it was late at night, and to get a babysitter the next morning, and I, th I thought I could just leave them with the with the custody of the state, but I didn't know that was uh, would give them the right to take all of my kids, and they took all of my family. My wife, she had to go to a psychiatry ward and get evaluated, <laughs> and they took my kids because because of my didn't know that they were going to do that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so now I'm in battle with the courts. It's been about two, three months now that they have. I've been going through this now, and since I have a third child now, they deemed that my place that I'm at was that because I moved out when they took my kids to save money for a lawyer and everything. Um, that it was not big enough now for three kids now. And so now I have to get a bigger house. And uh, I have about two, three weeks now, in between two, three weeks to get a house now. So this is why I need a miracle, and uh, I need it fast. Or I don't want to lose my family. But anyways, um, all I know to do is to fast and pray now, and uh, I work, but my work is not enough to do. My wife is not working right now because she just is going through all this. So I'm on one income, and right now it's not enough to move into the place that we need right now. So I really need God to come through. And I know he will come through. He never fails. Especially if you humble and seek his faith. Um, when they took my kids, I kind of went on a uh, a little miniature spiral t to back to food. I've been using food as a crutch for, for a while now. And uh, just recently, past three weeks, I've been getting back into fasting more. in his face
So the domination of the flesh has been ruling my belief systems and it has been the rule of the flesh has been hindering the results of my prayers. It's been hindering the power of God to answer these prayers. And uh which reminds me of, you know, of these times that I would when I was doing a lot of fasting. I remember specifically on two separate occasions when I would fast five or six seven days, whatever. On the fifth day, not on, not the day before, not the day after. Excuse me, not, it did happen the day after. But on the fifth day, on both occasions, I got this awareness of, I don't care what anybody thinks about what I'm doing right now. This 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 ceiling of secret. Uh, concern about everybody else was demolished in the fifth day I could tell the difference the awareness of uh, any kind of little fears any kind of domination of the flesh was gone on the fifth day and that's why I gave that testimony when I, my tooth was hurting on the fifth day I spoke to it and it was gone it was like the control of the flesh was was weakened on another level on the fifth day after I did all that fasting I left I didn't fast for like a year I'm probably like more, more than two days but my body rejected it. did not want to go through that again. <laughs> Anyways. I can tell the power was waning. And uh, I got into worship. And God told me to worship three hours a day. I would do that three hours a day. And that sustained me while I was not fasting. The presence of God became more real. I could see things happening in my job. Man, I could, the Lord through me caused like a miniature revival at, at, the, at the job. Uh, that's another why I believe Satan wanted to stop me <laughs> in my health. But anyways, I'm still kind of dealing with some things in my lungs and everything, but the Lord is healing me. I feel better. And uh, I'm waiting, I'm pushing to 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 break this invisible ceiling of the flesh that's been hindering the power of God flowing through me recently. And I really need a miracle. And, you know, I need to receive this miracle. And, uh, so just stick around and watch to see what God does. Uh, like I said, uh, if anybody wants to help me you know, you can go to my music, cdbaby.com slash infinis, N-F-I-N-I-S. You can download a song or two, whatever. It'll really help me fight this battle with the courts uh, to get my kids back. I'm just waiting on her assessment and our place to stay and then we can get them back. And I can go on with the ministry and I'm also fasting for music equipment and believe in God for that. Dude, I've been out of music and for a while. I haven't made anything new since 2005 because of this junk I've been going through. Like Satan's just trying to take out every little thing I can do. And it's partly my fault because there's a lot of times that God told me to fast for certain situations. I just didn't do it. I just, just my flesh talked me out of it. I would try, but then I would stop. And then after that, God couldn't answer because there was no power flowing. I couldn't receive it because of unbelief in my mind, because my flesh was dominating me. So anyways, that's what's been going on. And uh this is the end of day two and uh I think I will post this because I really need some encouragement and uh I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm alone I'm alone but I'm not I'm not alone. Right now, my kids are in foster care. Well, they're with their grandparents. And my wife and I are up here. We moved out where we're staying to save for a lawyer and everything. And uh, we already paid the lawyer, so that's good. But I do work, and uh, I'm the only income. And But God will supply. And if you're going through anything, God 
if you humble yourself and seek His face, then you seem like you can't get a prayer answered. Just humble yourself, and He will answer. He will not fail you, because the answer is already there. And I want you to know that you know I'm, I'm considered a minister, but ministers go through things just as well as anybody else. So if I can encourage anybody to stay strong and to love God and walk in holiness, walk in truth, do the will of God, do it, walk in love. And don't think that because I'm going through something that I'm doing something wrong. It's because I'm doing something right, which is following God, that I'm going through something. Look at Apostle Paul. Okay, He went through a bunch of junk, and he was doing everything right to a certain degree. I mean, he, as far as we know, he did everything right. Um, but anyways, God bless you. And uh, this is the end of day two. And uh Check back with you tomorrow. God bless you. Peace.